Hey everybody, it's Ricky here with Apple Valley Farm. Today, I have, I have a problem. And some of you are probably thinking, right, yeah, I, I, but it's not, it's not that kind of a problem. This is a problem, this is a, a shop problem. And so, um, the quick description of the problem is, I'm drilling a lot of holes but every hole I drill, the board has to be clamped. So then every time I move to a different spot with this jig, with my Craig jig, I have to unclamp it, move the board, reclamp it, pick my drill back up. Then when I drill it, then I put the drill down and I, bam, and I repeat the process over and over and over. I've got 25 boards to do. I've got five holes in each board to do. <sighs> Obviously, it's going to drive me crazy if I have to keep putting this drill down and picking it up. And I'm using a corded drill also. So every time I set it down, especially with me being left-handed, it doesn't matter which way I go. I'm setting it over here. The cord, the weight of the cord is making it do this. It's, uh, it's just, it's driving me nuts. Over. So I've got to come up with some sort of a holder that some kind of a detachable holder system that I like a holster that I can put this drill down into. And I don't want it to be something that I wear. I want it to be something I can attach to my workbench. So with that being said, that was a long introduction. With that being said, I want to show you what I am coming up with. So this is a Let's just call it a work table drill holster. I don't know if this is gonna be a good idea or not. I think it is. I think this is gonna be pretty cool, but we'll just have to see. I'm making it up as I go, and I'm gonna let you follow me along as I do that. So with that, let's go. Here we go. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm coming over here to my chop saw. I'm cutting five one by fours six inches long. Get out of here. Six inches long. Okay, now let's sand each one of these. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure how we're going to put this together, but I'm thinking instead of doing something like this um, or even something like yeah I think I want to do what I call a pinwheel concept so we're, we're tacking this board to the outside edge of that and then this to the outside edge of that and then this to the outside edge of that and then consequently so on and so on like that so it makes a perfect little square out of four equally sized boards so i think that's what we'll do i'm going to put them together like this i am going to use some glue however that's not going to glue with the brads is not going to like hold it now um, so I'll, I'm going to do something else, but I'll get to that in a minute. Let's go ahead and start putting these sides together. Okay, so this, like this, even after it dries, when I'm slamming the drill down in there, it's gonna come apart. So I've got to secure it with something to make it more durable. I could put some screws in it. That would probably be okay. I happen to have this shipping strapping kit and this is the plastic stuff that you band around things and then you you tighten it down i think i'm gonna wrap this around it and tighten it down really well and i think i think that will be great 
So let's give that a try. Let's see how that works. Okay, so the idea will be for this to go here, but I want to just kind of mount it on my work table and with a couple of screws so I can take it off. So I think I'm going to put this there like that, attach this, and then attach this. I don't know if that's going to be sturdy, but let's give it a try and see what works. Let's, let's see if it works. I don't know if it will or not. Let's give it a try. I think it looks pretty dead gum good. And it's it's really sturdy. It's attached to the sawhorse, which is which this is sitting on. So it's not just attached to the plywood, it's actually into the sawhorse. So it's pretty sturdy. And this is actually up against this I-beam on the sawhorse too. So anyway, let's see. So you know the drill. There you go, it'll just sit in it. Ba -ba -bam. Just like that, Jack. Look at that. Man, where's the patent office, Dad Gummit? This is all right. Oh, I like it already. I like this. I like it a lot. Man, this makes it so much easier. Oh, the only problem, you know, of course, is stretching the cord here across, which is a pain in the neck. But I'm left-handed, so I have to have it there. Um, that's, that's the biggest challenge. If this was a cordless drill, though, that wouldn't be a concern. But then if it was a cordless drill, I wouldn't have to worry about setting it up here, you know, and it doing that or this. So this is a lot more intuitive, maybe. This, it feels more natural, and I can dig this process right here all day long. All day long, Jack. Ah, man. This is awesome. I am a genius. Ah. Look out. Okay, I am so excited about this. Man, this is great. I am really excited about this, this drill holster. This is cool. I love it when we, when we experiment on something and it works, you know? And it's not just us. I mean, it's kind of the beauty of the whole homesteading, self-employment, whatever you want to call it, thing is being, I don't know if innovative is the right word, being resourceful. Being resourceful and putting your cre creativity and your determination into something and then you see it bear fruit. It's just like, it feels so good. I remember when I was growing up, I remember my daddy saying that he was really jealous of people who worked with their hands, like carpenters and mechanics and stuff like that. He, he said, I know in general, I can't make as much money if I did that. But he said, I'm really jealous of those people because they do something and then they see the results of it immediately. 
and my dad was in sales and and so, so a lot of times there was there was a long wait before you saw a result of something so you know he said you do something you see the result of it right away you feel good and i thought you know that makes a lot of sense and now as i do things like this it makes even more sense so i believe that's why this whole thing is so attractive i believe that's why the homesteading movement is so popular with people and it's still gaining steam because people are, are looking for some satisfaction i believe in what they do anyway that's a whole philosophical thing about a little wood assembly here but but you know i i really think that's true and i'm really excited about this so thank you so much for kind of hanging out with me here for a few minutes and going on this little journey with me as i made this little project i, I mean i'm so satisfied with it and I, I hope that it's been fun for you to watch i hope you learned something if you want to make one hopefully you got enough out of this you can make one if you have any questions though give me a shout you can do something down in the comments you can email me you can contact us on our website whatever you want to do but if you like what we're doing here definitely hit the subscribe button subscribe to our youtube channel because we're doing stuff all the time anyway thank you for being here today i hope you enjoyed this we love you though we need you so please subscribe to our channel please come back and visit us often and tell your friends about us thank you take care be safe have a great day and go make something